Okay, here's the back of your TVO2. People ask me all the time, what is this in the center here? This is actually what's called a KF25 vacuum port. It's blanked off for you right now, but a lot of people use it to run, say, thermocouple wires inside the oven, any kind of feed through that you need. This is your access port inside the oven. Some people even want to connect their vacuum pump to this line. If you do, give us a call, send me an email, and I can tell you what you need to do to have this be your main vacuum port. You'll also see on the back of the TVO2, there are two swage lock, nut and ferrule, compression style valve fittings here. This is your 3 8 vacuum valve connection with the barbed insert. This is your quarter inch vent valve connection. This is where you're going to connect your vacuum pump to. The smaller one is your vent line. That corresponds to the smaller black knob on the front of the control panel. That vent valve will allow you to connect nitrogen, argon, or some kind of inert gas, or just allow you to fill the oven up with shop air, ambient air. It's up to you. If you have any questions about backfilling as part of your vacuum process, give us a call. We'd be happy to let you know the reasons why that may or may not be a good idea for your process. Here we have a serial communications port. What's great about our controller is that it comes with a piece of software that with a quick connection you can save all of the internal settings of the controller. You can even write your own drying profiles and store them. And this, with this serial D-pin connection here, you can actually connect and talk directly to the controller. That's a great feature to have. The TVO2 runs on 120 volt, 12 amps, so you can just plug and play and be ready to go. There's the back of your TVO2.